Welcome everybody, Solden of the Grin Brothers here, and it's time for another episode of Tea Time. Today's tea is Serene Jasmine Green, uh, with milk. Um, which, while I do like my green uh, teas with milk, uh, you, I can have them out without if they're good enough. Um, and Serene Jasmine Green is a very nice tea. I'm not a big fan of the complexion of them when you add milk to them. It just doesn't look as nice. It looks like a... It ends up looking like a black tea where you've actually you poured in half a glass of milk. <laughs> in any case, um, when it comes to tea time, um, I do feel that sometimes I miss having a point, per se. For instance, with the news ones, I don't feel like... Sometimes I question whether... Is my opinion worth reeling off all this sort of news information, which everyone else has probably already heard? Do I have enough time to fit my own opinion in with it? Is it interesting enough to really matter being heard by a lot of people? Um, and sometimes with my opinion pieces, I feel, do I get to a conclusion with this? Or is it just here to have me meander endlessly with no real point to it? <clears throat> well, luckily... There's not really an end conclusion with today's tea time. It is literally going to be me meandering endlessly for a while. Because today's tea time, uh, I guess its name will be Wii U Holiday or Holiday for Wii U. In, in any case, tile here. Because what this tea time is about is, well, it's kind of con it's kind of reaction piece to the news that Star Fox Zero is being delayed from its 2015 winter release date. Or, no, or autumn release date, you know. You, but it's still holidays release date. To spring of 2016. Now, along with the fact that Legend of Zelda U was also delayed to 2016, this is a pretty big blow for the Wii U. Star Fox Zero was its sort of next big iconic IP, as it were. Um, even if Star Fox Zero is more like a B or even C tier Nintendo IP, it doesn't get, uh, get a lot of sort of spotlight. In theory, I mean, a lot of people know about Star Fox because of Smash Bros. Or because of Star Fox 64 and such. But it's not really, you know, the biggest and grandest of IPs. It doesn't have a great many entries and <clears throat> doesn't get a great amount of attention per se. I mean, I think it has had plenty of potential per se. I mean, with exception to the... Uh, I mean, it's had a game every generation since its release in the... Super NES generation, which is I think like Generation Four. I mean, at Star Fox sixty four or in Generation Five. I've you had uh, Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault in Generation Six, and you had Star Fox Command on the DS in Generation Seven, and of course the remake, and now Star Fox Zero for Generation A. You know, but that's another point. In any case, Star Fox Zero was supposed to be a big title for Wii U owners in the holidays, despite people complaining about the so called graphical flaws. Um, at E3 and whatnot, I personally think that space has looked looked incredibly colourful and nice and everything. So I don't mind per se. I can understand text complaints, but I don't really focus on that. I prefer the fact that space was vibrant. But in any case, in any case, actually getting to the point. The point is there are plenty of games coming out on the Wii U for the holiday period, even without with Star Fox Zero being delayed. Now, is that a good thing? No, of course. It, well. It's a good thing that there are still games, but I'm not trying to sort of say that Star Fox Zero being delayed isn't a big deal. You know, likewise with Legend of Zelda U being delayed. I'm not going to say that the Wii U's lineup this holidays is completely stellar or anything like that. I'm not going to say that, uh, you know, it's, okay, it's perfectly okay that they delayed it per se. I do think this is a big blow. But I do think there are plenty of options still if you happen to own a Wii U. And plenty of games that you could enjoy instead. Um, for myself, the there's at least like four or five different. Well, there's at least sort of like three different games I'll have around the time of before the Wii U, uh, before the holidays, um, before Christmas even breaks out. <clears throat> so, starting off, I should probably talk about some of the exclusive games. You know, Wii U exclusive, and I'm going to talk specifically about it from my perspective as someone from the UK. One of the games I'm looking forward to is Project Zero Maiden of Black Water. You may know it if you're in the US or at some other places as Fatal Frame, the Black Haired Shrine Maiden. Now, of course, it's getting a digital release in other places, but for the European region, we have a physical release. So, 
Um, that's brilliant. So I've pre-ordered that. I've got a physical release for that, and I think that's going to be a great game. It's got uh, Wii U, um, It's going to put the Wii U gamepad to good use, given it feels like it's designed for it. And yet it's been around for quite a while, actually, this series. Uh, while not a game that interests me personally, Xenoblade Chronicles X is also releasing this year, and that's a big game. I mean, it's not the biggest of IPs for Nintendo per se, as it's rather recent, but it's still a big game and it should get, uh, give you plenty of hours to play. And it looks like a game that I could see a lot of people enjoying. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival may not be everyone's cup of tea, but as far as I'm aware, it's like a free download. And if you ha while admittedly, the pricing comes from buying the Amiibos and Amiibo cards. I think it actually looks like a very gentle, relaxed game. Uh, sort of akin to more Fortune Street rather than Mario Party. Uh, I think more emphasis should have been put on the turnip trading, but I don't think we've seen enough to really judge it entirely. But still, that's a game exclusive to Wii U coming out for the holidays. Of course, a game I'm looking forward to, because I'm a big fan of Mario Tennis and Mario Power Tennis, is my uh, favourite Mario sports game on the GameCube. It's one of my favourite GameCube games of all. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is still set for a holiday release. Um, I look forward to that. That's one of the sort of games I'm planning on getting, and that's exclusive to Wii U. Ooh. For those of you in America, there's Yoshi's Early World, or Woolly World, and Devil's Third still to come out. Okay, yeah, Devil's Third isn't exactly brilliant, and I guess it's my player is on PC, but, uh, you know, some of you may still enjoy it. I mean, a game doesn't have to be amazing to be enjoyable. That's probably going to be a future tea time at some point. For instance, I really like Watch Dogs a lot more than I think it is in terms of quality. Um, and I feel there's plenty of people for instance, who may enjoy the Ninja Gaiden series or such, who could still enjoy Devil's Third, or people who aren't used to playing those sort of games, who will get a lot of kick out of Devil's Third. Um, and, well, for those of you in Japan, I'd be, I'd be amazed if anyone in Japan sort of watched these videos, uh, Gene Ibn Roku Sharp FE comes out uh, before the end of this year. I think it's like December 26th for some silly reason, but it still comes out before the end of this year, so I guess you could technically count that as a holiday title. Yeah. And of course, despite what people, oh yeah, and despite what people may think, there are actually non-exclusive Wii U games. Wii U actually does get multi-platform games. Not many, but it does get them. And of course, I'm only talking f mostly physical releases here. I'm not even taking into account that there's plenty of Nintendo eShop games. Mostly because I'm not sure on the exact release dates of them, because they tend to be rather picky in terms of release date. Plus, when I think of holiday sort of things, I think more of, you know, being able to wrap a present up. Um, and you can't really do that very often with digital codes and whatnot. I mean, you know, kind of just a little card or a receipt, I guess. But that's why I'm focusing more on the physical releases. But there's plenty of eShop games. I think the new Shanta game may actually release before the end of this year. Speaking of, like, the sort of eShop games, Shovel Knight's going to have a physical release before the end of the year. And getting an amiibo with it. So, hey, anyone who hasn't played sort of Shovel Knight, there's a good reason to be able to get a... You can now get a physical copy of it instead. And that's great. Um, a game I'm really looking forward to is Rhodey the Sky Soldier. Um, it's available on free discs as well, and the Wii U copy, uh, the sort of first run of it, will come free with the Wii copy of the game. Uh, it's made by Yuji Naka, and that creator of Sonic, so that gives me a lot of reason in to sort of think that it will turn out pretty well. And it looks really fun. I like it. <laughs> I, I really like its style and everything, and it looks like it'll be a fun game. So I'm really looking forward to Brody the Sky Soldier, which is available on Wii U. There's Skylander Superchargers, which, on the Wii U version, has the usage of the Donkey Kong and Bowser Amiibo sort of usage, which is, I'm not sure if it's specifically you have to use the Skylander versions, I think that is the case, but that's a cool, unique feature only available on the Wii U version. Uh, other games include... Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations. I'm not a fan of Adventure Time, but maybe someone else is. That's available on Wii U. Lego Dimensions will be available on Wii U. Um, although, again, you're going to be buying a lot of figurines for some of these games. Guitar Hero Live. Admittedly, Rock Band isn't on Wii U, but Guitar Hero Live will be on Wii U. So, anyone who enjoys those sort of games, there's an option for you still on Wii U. You don't have to rely on, I think it's the Rock Band series, to provide you of your music games, because Guitar Hero Live has you covered. Uh, if you like dancing, Just Dance 2016. That is a Wii U title coming out by the end of this year. I kind of wish Ubisoft would have some of their other games sort of come out on Wii U, but 
honestly, other than I think like the Turbo Mania thing and maybe the South Park game, depending if it's still turn based, none of the games they announced recently are sort of like interesting me. Um, in the case, but yeah, Just Dance 2016, that's available on Wii U. Um, the Peanuts movie, Snoopy's Grand Adventure, apparently that will uh, also be available on Wii U. I quite like the art style of the game, although I think, you know, kind of reminds me of Yoshi's Uli World, but it was if it was done in like sort of claymation per se. Uh, yeah, but that's a game available on Wii U, so anyone who's a fan of Peanuts, it, it could also turn out well. Um, and fun, and there's also uh, Kung Fu Panda Showdown of Legendary Legends. I think it's kind of silly trying to make a Super Smash Bros. game aim on a system which has Super Smash Brothers. Though admittedly, I wasn't a big fan of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. So, hey, there's a... a Kung Fu Panda fans or people who weren't a fan of Smash Bros. but want a Smash Bros. style game, there's a game available on Wii U for that. I was going to also mention Harvest Moon Seeds of Memories, but I've had such little information about that. I'm not sure if it's even getting a physical release or even coming out this year. Um, but that's possibly a game coming out. And again, as I said, there's also a lot of digital releases. Um, these are eShop games that you can enjoy as well over the time. A big advantage to the Wii U, along with a very nice back a backlog of Wii U games that I think it's got a pretty good sort of selection. I'd recommend I'd really recommend The Legend of Zelda Wind Wake HD, Super Mario 3D World, Splatoon, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, Hyrule Warriors, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and Wonderful 101. I think I may have said that to sorry, may have said that twice. I mean if you've got any younger people then Legacy Undercover would also be a uh, good recommendation. Um I had quite a bit of fun with that. Um, I've still got some Wii U games I haven't even sort of had the chance to play yet. I'm looking forward to eventually getting around to play Legend of Decay Anniversary. Have yet to try out Zombie U, but I did buy that for my oldest brother, so... And I've still got Bayonetta 1 and 2 in their box still. Um, really should get around to that. And even if you go... And you can even go back even further because the Wii U has the brilliant factor of backwards compatibility. As a big fan of the original Nintendo Wii, there is a great lineup of games available on Nintendo Wii, particularly for some people who may have passed on it because it wasn't up to rate of 360 or PS3. There are actually a lot of really good games available on the Nintendo Wii, which you can then play through your Nintendo Wii U. And of course, along with some eShop games of the sort of indie nature or digital download there is of course the virtual console providing new content there's heck sin and punishment has become available in the wii U virtual console which is great to hear um and it's getting game boy advance games i think the recent one at the time of this recording was like uh pocky and rocky with becky so i think that's a series that quite a few people seem to in uh, seem to enjoy back in the day though it hasn't seen much use lately but in any case um yeah, yeah, there's a lot of uh, games still coming to Wii U. It may not be as big or as impressive as possibly the Xbox 360 or PS4 lineup. I personally don't think the PS4 lineup is all that impressive myself, really. And the Xbox One, uh, this year I'm really only looking for fa to Fable Legends. But, you know, different opinions, different tastes. Hopefully, of the Wii U games I mentioned, uh, for Wii U owners, there's some games here that you still you may be interested in. Um... It's a shame that Star Fox Zero did get delayed, but there are still games to make up for the um, the lack of this bigger holiday title. Um, though that said, there isn't probably a game quite like Star Fox Zero uh, available amongst this Wii U lineup, but that's the problem sometimes. You know, you're not going to get a specific genre replacement per se. In any case, I hope for any Wii U owners, you still manage to enjoy the holidays, despite the delays of Star Fox Zero and Legend of Zelda Wii U. And that, uh, like me, you'll enjoy the games that are currently available or coming out soon. I'm going to enjoy, around before Christmas time, getting to play Legend of K Anniversary, Rodeo the Sky Soldier, Project Zero Made on Black War, and Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. And if I ever want to, I'm sure there's plenty of other Wii U games I could look forward to uh, getting among the backlog. I'm still trying to find One Piece and Limited World Red. That's a very hard one to find. I should have picked that up on launch. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching. Oh, I'll take a test of my tea first. I don't know what it's like, but... Ugh. I know what it's like. It's delicious. Oh, I love this tea. It goes really well with milk. Um, in any case, thank you all for listening. Um, hope you enjoyed and feel free to share your opinions below. What do you think of the Wii U's lineup this holiday and what do you think of Star Fox Series Delay? Are you going to be enjoying the Wii U this year? And I've got to end now because we're almost to the, my personal time limit. 
Cheerio, everyone.